I don't think our YouTube audience has seen your new haircut yet, Candace. Baller. The carpet comes today. I'm so excited about the carpet. Howdy, howdy. Is the carpet happening? Good lunch? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Whoa. It looks good, right? It's great. What do you think? I love it. It's quiet. How are you doing? Hi, Aaron. I mean, you cannot imagine what a dump that basement used to be. And now it is like a few carpet tiles away from being our new production facility. Last week, uh, last week I posted a video about um, this fundraising charity effort that my friend Jerome started that I was psyched to be a part of to raise money for the people in East Africa affected by the horrible drought and famine that's taking place there right now. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know I'm not one who shies away from, you know, to use this platform to sort of share causes that I believe in, whether that's, whether that's helping an individual or, um, or a broader cause like like what this initiative is about. But I have to say, in my life, I could have never imagined. I mean, we raised, and this was not my doing. Those guys, Ben Stiller and Jerome, those guys did a lot more of the work than I did. I just made a video about it and I shared it. We raised almost two million dollars. Two million dollars to help people affected by this, this horrible famine. And the important thing is, in addition to all of that money, which will help people, by doing this fundraiser, not only did we raise the capital, but we also brought a lot of attention to a cause that needed it. Huh? These are my new house shoes. These are shoes that you wear in the house. Some might call them slippers, but these have good soles on them, so I can actually wear them to... <laughs> Um, We're in line for dough. What is this line for? Dough. You're waiting in line for cookie dough? Uh, yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> this whole block is just for cookie dough. Yep. You're in line for cookie dough? Yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this whole line here is to come in there? Yes, it is. Is it like this every day? Yes, it is. Ten? Yes, it is. How good is your cookie dough? It's very good. <laughs> it's yes, apparently. It is. Nice to meet you. Best of luck. This place just sells ice cream cones filled up with cookie dough. Hey, he is. Can I get a picture with both of y'all? Absolutely. Oh, this is great. Oh, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Hi. I was obsessed with of you. Of course. It's we unreal. We did it all together. It's unbelievable. We just crushed two million right now. But here's the thing, Jerome. It's not the two million dollars. It's the awareness that comes yeah, along exactly. with that. Yeah, exactly. And that was the goal in the first place. You know? <sighs> Little discussion with Casey is that. Two million dollars raised. Turkish Airlines agreed to 200 tons of yeah. cargo in yeah. total. Yeah. So we found a very special product called Plumpy Nuts. Basically, if a kid eats one bar of it, 
uh, every day for six weeks, then he's, he moves from being almost dying to being, being fine. I'll bring one so we can taste it. We didn't raise the $2 million to hand it over to the UN no. or any NGOs. It's actually being, all of the organization is being done with people that we know. And the reason for that is to make sure that every penny of it mm -hmm goes to help people. Mm -hmm. So to all the haters in the comments saying that all that cash was gonna go to the government or warlords or whatever, nope. there will never be cash handed over. Only the foodstuffs and the products and Jerome's actually working with NGOs on the ground there to help mm -hmm. distribute this stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is the Plumpy Nuts and we visited the factory yesterday, they are based in Rhode Island. For baby, it's for people bef uh, less than five years old. We want to buy locally, because locally you can buy rice, locally you can buy flour, and locally you can buy water. There's a lot of private companies that are selling huge trucks of water. We are, we are um, a drop in the ocean. I think that's the most important thing to realize, is that like we raised $2 million, we had 80,000 people behind this whole thing, and the impact we will make is this. This small group of 80,000 people came together and did the maximum they could, you know? A lot of people I saw were telling me like, I had $20 on my bank account, I gave 15. Like, that's so beautiful, you know? Jerome. You're doing good work, man. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon, Jerome. I love you. I love you too. Candace's office. Where are we going? We are going to Dean and Maya's book party. Is there food there? It's a cookbook party, so maybe. How was work today, honey? It's good. I was hoping we could go see the fifth floor. How are you, my man? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Um, how cute were those pictures of Francine? With all of her friends? As Checking her friend's temperature? It's like I saw that and I was like, oh my god, I have to get her a doctor set. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's spiky. Do you know that in second grade I went to um, Supercuts? Is that what it's called? Where they all had the names on the mirrors? And I said I wanted spikes. So I got spikes at the top and then a bob like this. But then I went to St. John's, my preppy school, and everyone was like... There's a lot of people there, Candace. What do you think? Just say hi and go and A lot of people here. Is the owner of this restaurant. Dean, you look Dude. incredible, man. Dude, you're amazing. Good to see you, man. So nice to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. So this is the book? Come on, Dean. Book. This whole thing's a book launch party <laughs> for Dean's new book. Dean? <laughs> Dean. <Ooh. laughs> this is a restaurant it's called Jack's Wife Frida. True story. 15 years, 13, 10 years ago, used to always go to his restaurant when Candace and I were dating, long story long, Dean, the owner of this place, we kind of credit our relationship to him in no small part.